I'm Sota. I'm Yuta. I'm Yuta. And today we're here at Tokyo Station because we're going to go to Sendai in Miyagi Prefecture by yeah. bullet train. Now let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we are here at this Ekiben store, which is a, like a box lunch store. Yeah. It's like a lunch box that you can eat on a train, especially yeah. on bullet train. So let's go check it out. Yeah. There are a lot of types of lunch boxes here. This is like the seafood. And if you look around, there are like a lot of lunch boxes from a lot of prefectures in Japan. There are these ekiben from a lot of different prefectures in Japan like Miyagi and Iwate and places like that. This bento box looks exactly like the Shinkansen or bullet train. So now we're going to get on these bullet trains yeah. and go to yeah. Sendai. But this is Hayabusa and that is Komachi. But today we're going to get on Komachi. Now let's yeah. go. You look so cool. Yeah. No way. Now we're gonna eat our eggy man. Oh yeah, here. Okay, let's see. Open it up. Oh, it looks so cute. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, mine looks like this. Now let's see. Mm. I pick this bento. It looks really good. Whoa, there's so much salmon roe and uh, tuna bellies. It looks so good. Now let's eat. It looks so good. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm, like. These uh, tuna belly is really small, so like it's bite sized and it's so good. It tastes like, uh, yeah, soy sauce, and I didn't even pour soy sauce on it. Now 
were here in Thin Dye. We, we made were, it! Yeah. yeah! It was very fast. Yeah, it was yeah. really fast. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, anyway, so let's get to our next destination. Yeah, let's, let's go! go. Now we're here at the Sasakama Gan. Yeah. And yeah, in Sendai, like Sasakama Boko, which is like bamboo leaf shaped uh, kamaboko, which is like a fish cake, is really famous here. Yeah. And right here we can make our own. So let's go. Yeah, let's go. show us a video to how to do it. Throw our hands in the bowl of water. We put both of this. Yeah. These shapes for the sasakawa. Oh. oh, it's really squishy. Kind of like mochi, only like a little bit more wet. Mine turned out really good. There you go. Oh my god. He's so good. It's shaped just like the bamboo. Not yet. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, like that. And you flip it, Roger. You flip you flip it with your hand on it. No, 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 with your hand under it. And then you go. Oh, holy. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, look at this. Not bad, Mojo. 
Yeah, the other side is pretty good. Okay. So mine is gonna be. Nice. Okay, good job. Yeah, we flipped it over. Yeah. And each time we flip it over, it's kind of bending though. Okay, flip that over. Oh, it's so hot. Here's our sasakama right here. Yeah, Rotas is already burned. How are you feeling, guys? Time. Yeah. We'll get this ready out here so that Rota will be able to use it anytime. Some of the Kamamuka have like those water giblets. That's because we use water, I think. Wait, mine, look. What's real? Oh! It turned out to be pretty good though. Wait, wait for like about 10 more seconds and put it in. It's a really cool way to bake sasakama. No, it doesn't. It kind of looks like mochi though. Look, mine turned out really good. Look at the shape. Just like a bamboo leaf. Yeah, and the birds look delicious too. Yeah. Now it's hot and ready, so let's eat. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. Like, you can really taste that, like... Fish. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually harder than I thought. Yeah, like... It was hard to, like, get it in the right shape because it was so squeezed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when we were baking it, like, it kind of bent, so, like... Yeah, the shape was really hard to... Yeah, contain. Yeah. But it ended up really good. Mm -hmm. And I've eaten, like, store-bought ones. Do but I think this is definitely better. Yeah, because it's like fresh from the oven. Yeah. yeah. Not the oven, but so if you ever come to Sendai, please check this out. Yeah, because it's really good. Eat it or make it both. It's really good. Yeah. Now we're here at this Yuta restaurant. Yeah. Yuta, uh, which is like house punk. Yeah. It's like a specialty here in Sendai. So we're gonna go eat it now. Let's go. Yutan is like beef tongue and yeah, uh, this is like really famous here in Sendai and there are a lot of these Gyutan restaurants around Sendai station. Yeah, Sendai station. Yeah, and uh, usually it's like sliced really thin and then grilled. Yeah. And it arrived right now. It looks just like this. It looks so good. And it's uh, also served with Gyu Chao yeah. soup. This is like the tail of the beef. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. Now let's eat. Yeah. This is the miso flavor. This is the salt flavor. And this is the sauce flavor. Yeah. And for whatever reason, uh, Yutan goes great with this wheat rice. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know. And also this grated yam or tororo in Japanese. It goes great with it too. Now, let's eat. Yeah. First time ever trying Yuta. I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. It's kind of tough to like. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of different like from normal like yakiniku. It's really good. It's so yummy. 
it's really rubbery and it's really good. It tastes really good and it really does go great with the wheat rice. So if you ever come near Sendai Station, make sure to check this out. You might not want to try that first since it's technically beef tongue, but if you try it, it's really good. So make sure to try it. Now we're here at a Zunda store. Zunda is soybeans, and here they like grind the soybeans and put them in. Yeah, and put it in ice cream and mochi and a lot of stuff. And it's really famous here in Miyagi Prefecture, just like the gyutan and the sasakama. So we're gonna go buy something now. Let's go. Now we have it and we're gonna eat it. So first of all, this is the zunda shake. This is the zunda mochi. And this is the zunda sauce. Yeah, the zunda ice cream. Now let's drink and eat. Oh! Wow! It's really good! Um, yeah, you would think that the soybeans mixed with like, uh, like a milkshake would be like pretty bad. You would think that because it's a vegetable and you wouldn't like that with your dessert, but actually it's really good and yeah, it's like kind of a, like an addictive taste. Yeah, there's this unique texture and taste that makes it really special. It's a, like a milky kind of taste. Yeah, and it has a unique texture. Mmm, it's delicious. Mmm, it's so good and it's so yummy. Although zunda is technically a vegetable, as in like a soybean, it's really good mixed with other stuff like a milkshake, ice cream, and mochi. It's really good. If you come here, make sure to check it out. It's really good. By the way, this shop is also famous for Kikuku, Satoru Gojo's favorite dessert in Jujutsu Kaisen. We tried it and it was so soft and creamy. It was delicious. So now we're here at Sendai Station and we had a lot of fun eating delicious foods around Miyagi Prefecture. Yeah. And my personal favorite was the Zunda shake. My personal favorite was the Kyutan. How I about like you? I like the too. Okay. Well, it was really delicious. And if you ever come to Sendai or Miyagi Prefecture, you should check it out because it's really good and it's worth checking out. Yeah. yeah. But for now, we're going to head back to Tokyo. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching our video today. Make sure to subscribe, push the like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.